Thank you very much for joining us in the 55th TIEC Cross-Cultural Seminar. Thank you very much for joining us. And prior to the start of the seminar, there are some housekeeping announcements. This cross-cultural seminar are broadcast on two YouTube channels. TIEC and HIA channel is for English. TIEC and TIH2 channel is for Japanese language. And please refrain from uh, recording uh, this uh, um, culture, uh, the seminar. And uh, uh, this seminar will be available on the archive at a later date. And uh, the theme for the 5050 IEC Cross Cultural Seminar is Ar Architecture, Japanese Castle. And in regards to the, um, the, the castle architecture, uh, which attracts a lot of people, um, we would like to learn about the, uh, uh, the traditional architecture and its technology and the hidden techniques. And first of all, we would like to call upon Mr. Ota. Takafumi, Deputy Executive Director, Student Exchange Department, Japan Student Service Organization, to give you the uh, welcome message. Hello, everyone. My name is Ota uh, from the Japan Student Service Organization. And thank you very much for joining us in the TIEC Cultural Seminar today. This cultural seminar calls upon the experts who are in the front line of the research in the various areas of Japan to here, there are talks so as to deepen our understanding of the Japanese culture in a multifaceted manner. And normally, uh, we will be having the face-to-face -face, uh, seminars, and uh, we uh, had mainly participants from uh, TIEC. However, we have now the benefit of the online seminar uh, for the purpose of preventing the, the COVID infection, and uh, uh, people outside of the uh, TIAC can now join the seminar. And the theme for the 55th TIAC Cross Cultural Seminar is Architecture, Japanese Castle. And uh, uh, the castles have uh, devolved, developed and evolved uh, from the mountain castle, water castle, and the castle fence to have the uh, uh, to develop the castles in the Middle Ages and uh, the Modern Ages, to have the, the stone walls and uh, uh, the castle keep. Castles are very still popular to see attractions, and there are many, many related ranking websites, and I'm sure that some of the participants here have actually visited the castles. Today, we welcome Ms. Sachiko Hagiwara, author of many books on castles and self-proclaimed uh, castle go arounder, also a director of Japan Castle Association, a member of the academic committee, and the president of Shirogumi, a general incorporated association established on April 6th, uh, the day of castles. We hope that participants will learn new aspects of castles not known before, deepening your understanding of castles, and if the opportunity arises, visit castles and make their knowledge gain today useful. I sincerely hope that today's Tokyo International Exchange Center lecture will be fruitful for all of you. Thank you very much. Next, we would like to move on to the seminar. And the seminar today will be uh, delivered by Ms. Hagiwara Sachiko. Ms. Hagiwara, please start your lecture. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you for your kind introduction. This is Sachiko Hagiwara. Thank you for listening to me. And I have an hour about to speak to you about castles. Today, in this seminar, I would like to talk about the significance of the role of castle keeps in castles and the middle innovations, uh, decorations, regional differences. And after that, about the unique Japanese techniques and traditional materials used for the castle keep. When you think of Japanese castle, you probably associate them with three or five street keep. Strictly speaking, however, 
Uh, of course, I'm going to talk about other things. And uh, however, a castle keep does not equal to a castle. A castle keep is just one building within the vast castle grounds. A castle has various components, in other words. And uh, the uh, symbolic um, building is a keep. Therefore, although today's theme is the castle keep, I hope you will pay attention to the other buildings, uh, for example, towers and gates, and uh, um, as well as the uh, stone walls and the military devices uh, with it on the ground and uh, why they are there about their locations. And also, there are military devices and the skillful uh, tactics incorporated in the uh, design. So please pay attention to those aspects so that uh, you can broaden uh, your enjoyment. As you can see, so Castle Keep is magnificent, but uh, we have stone wall uh, and ditch, and also the uh, design and also the uh, floor layout that those can be enjoyed as well. Alia has spoken. There are many types of castles. In a long history, we had many changes. Uh, with the society changes, the uh, uh, location and, and design and uh, devices would change as well. So that the history of the castles uh, that goes back to Yayoi period. But uh, as time goes, uh, we had many different types of castles and uh, Nara um, and the Asuka period. As introduced, uh, we had the ancient castle buildings and uh, uh, there are other types of castles also. And uh, you might think of uh, uh, wallows. And uh, in uh, warring time, we didn't have actually castle keeps. And uh, so that uh, uh, without any stone wall or castle keep, uh, we had many castles built on top of mountains that might be a bit different from your image. For example, in Western countries, uh, so a palace-like structure, residence, um, can be uh, imagined probably in many cases. But in the case of Japanese castles, uh, those were military facilities and also the uh, seat of the government at the same time. So it's not a peaceful being so that uh, in a kind of attention it was developed <coughs> And that is a notable characteristic of Japanese castles, so that the middle devices and the ro those walls uh, will be something to be looked at. Against the background, at the end of warring period, the uh, castle, as we imagine it today, started to be developed. And uh, Oda Nobunaga, uh, who is well-known warlord, uh, he made the first ever um, castle that uh, we imagine as castle today. And uh, so that uh, in uh, 1576, uh, he uh, had built a castle with a castle keep. And that is the first ever building um, of a castle as we imagine it today. And uh, um, Toyotomi Hideyoshi succeeded the style and so that uh, he uh, um, had his uh, subordinates build similar types of castles. And uh, Tokugawa Ieyasu further succeeded that design. And uh, early on in Edo period, tourist attraction castles, as we know them, were built. Although the castle keep has now become synonymous with castles, I would be happy if you would keep in mind that, that there are castles that did not have a castle keep in those days. So I would be happy if you can keep it in your mind. As I have talked about, so that the Japanese castles are military facilities and also seat of government, and the, ca the castle keep is just one building. So that it's a symbol of power and uh, um, financial resources. So that uh, uh, a castle keep uh, 
represent power and the financial capacities. That is one point to be maintained in your mind. So that the tension um, was there in the society when they were built, so that the, uh, they had many um, skills and uh, devices, so that the, uh, those uh, builders or the person who built uh, the uh, castle, the uh, uh, financial status and uh, uh, also senses were reflected in castle design and uh, uh, castle keep designs. And at the end of, uh, starting from the end of warring period, we uh, started to have uh, those castle keeps so that uh, those are aesthetically beautiful and also practical. And so that the uh, um, gorgeous uh, castles are not uh, really uh, useful um, in military sense, so that the power and the financial resources were shot off by having a castle keep. That was a notable characteristic. And uh, at that time, there were no specialized carpenters in castle keeps, so that uh, at that time, we had uh, religious facilities, so that uh, those uh, temple carpenters, uh, for example, in Kyoto, so we have temples and shrines, and uh, we have three stories and five stories pagodas, and uh, those uh, uh, carpenters, um, build those uh, castle keeps and castles. So if you compare uh, those uh, temples and uh, castles, uh, there are similar aspects, but they are just similar, but the uh, reason to be there is different between those temples and those castles, and the castles have military and uh, uh, governmental purposes. So that is a, a difference, so that uh, each castle has got its own uniqueness. And so uh, temples and shrines have got uh, their own rules in order to build establishment. But uh, the castle uh, is unique, reflecting the, the owner's sense and also social status and the financial resources. And so if the society is tense, then uh, the castle is more specialized in military function and in peaceful times, those uh, military aspects are weakened. So you can see the difference. And also a technological capacity of carpenters and the regional aspects are reflected in castle designs. So that uh, uh, there are human touches and that's what attracts me to castles. So please look at a castle keeps that way as well, I hope. In concrete terms, specifically, I would like to take a look at castle keeps. And Japanese castles have got a uh, um, really strong character of military facilities, so that uh, uh, there are military devices and uh, uh, skillful uh, devices incorporated in the design. So let's take a look. This is the Himeji Castle. And uh, although the castle tower is so beautiful. Um, so um, they are registered as World Cultural Heritage. The entire uh, castle is registered as such. And uh, when you ponder where to go, uh, that uh, castle is probably one of the uh, top hits. So that uh, uh, back in 1995, it was registered as World Cultural Heritage Site. And so that uh, there are eight national treasure buildings are uh, united as castle keep. So those are designated to be um, national treasures, eight of them. So that uh, um, the, uh, uh, the group of castle keeps is the treasure, national uh, treasure. So the main uh, castle keep um, is here and also three stories one. Uh, small castle keep, and uh, those two are national treasures, and uh, also connecting two stories corridor like um, castle keep is there, that is also a national treasure, 
and uh, we are looking at the side uh, unilaterally so that uh, we can only see four buildings, but uh, in the back there are further buildings, so that uh, altogether eight buildings, all of them are natural treasures. And uh, uh, regardless of where you take a look at them, they are very beautiful and uh, touching people's heart, um, probably not only for Japanese people, but also uh, people from anywhere in the world. So it's so aesthetically um, wonderful. Nowadays, it's kind of um, tough to uh, have um, outings, but uh, I hope you have a chance to visit it. And uh, those are are very beautiful castles, but uh, they are designed to be used in battles. And uh, uh, let's take a look at the wall. Um, on the first floor, you can see small openings. So those are called sama. Uh, those are small uh, windows uh, from where they shoot guns and balls. And so you, you see there are many of them. And also at the end, uh, of the uh, wall, so you see uh, some hollow space, and uh, that is hanging out. That is called ishiyotoshi, so that uh, um, it is hanging out, and uh, so it's empty inside, but uh, when battle um, break out, battles break out, then uh, um, so uh, soldiers can uh, um, attack enemies uh, from those uh, uh, locations. So just taking a look at the wall, uh, you can see how uh, military uh, facilities, um, like uh, uh, elements are incorporated in the design. And of course, in any temple, there is no such devices. And this is the uh, view from the south, and it's kind of small, but uh, if you uh, concentrate, you can see a lot of samas, they are small openings, and uh, also f uh, flint lock guns emit a lot of smoke, and uh, that kind of um, uh, smoke can be uh, ventilated out. And so that uh, on the right hand side, that is a main castle keep, and so that uh, the uh, second roof, oh, actually, um, from the bottom, to uh, um, to the top, actually, uh, it's not straight, and so that the the uh, lattice windows um, on the first layer, you see six of them, and the six of them are there, so that the, uh, you see big lattice uh, window at the center in the second stories. And the, the, the third one, uh, from from the left and from the right, and uh, so that uh, uh, that should be at the center, correct? But uh, that is skewed to the right a little bit, so that uh, that means um, the Himeji Castle main uh, castle keep is a bit off to the right. On the second layer. So if you can take a look at the uh, uh, end of the walls on the left-hand side, that is a bit uh, um, closer to the center. And it's not limited to the main castle keep, but uh, there are not straight um, buildings aligned. And uh, you don't see those aspects. Um, so um, those asymmetric design, this is a characteristic of Japanese castle buildings. And so that uh, uh, actually uh, Japanese aesthetic sense uh, is developed from the nature. So that the uh, asymmetric um, designs are often used, unlike in Western countries. And in West, uh, people prefer symmetric designs. So asymmetric design is much more popular. And in, in terms of porcelain, uh, when we have glaze um, in uh, Japanese um, porcelain, then uh, asymmetric design is perceived to be more beautiful. So that is in the basis. And why that center line 
is not um, maintained center balance. So uh, actually, the uh, uh, entire uh, viewpoint perspective is considered uh, hitting the uh, right balance among different buildings. And so, but the aesthetic, uh, when it's considered, then uh, inside it's difficult to design so that uh, uh, the uh, ceiling location uh, is not uh, the same. Height to the ceiling is not the same at all stories. So at certain floor, then uh, um, it might be high and uh, at some layers, um, those must be uh, really low so that the uh, um, so Himeji Castle have got uh, uh, six stories and uh, uh, one basement. And uh, so you see um, from outside, it looks five stories and uh, one basement. And so inside, once inside, actually those roofs are five stories, but the inside it's really six stories. And if you go inside, actually you see seven stories building. So that uh, um, those uh, uh, floors are varied in terms of ceiling height and so on. There are variables. And so the uh, distortion is uh, tapped into um, in order to utilize the space um, as military functions. And so that uh, those distortions were capitalized upon uh, in a practical sense. That's an important point. And this is Ishi Uchi Dana, that is a slab. And so um, designing the window that might look stylish from outside, the uh, window might be too high to be reached because of the design. As I introduced Sama, those windows are uh, in battles. Uh, they can attack uh, from there. And uh, also, um, in order to appreciate outside view, um, those are used so that the functionality is lost if we focus too much on aesthetics. So that the staircase was added and the shelf was added so that the soldiers can uh, climb up to the level so that uh, those openings can be used uh, for monitoring outside and also shooting enemies. So it's so efficient. And lower down, it looks like a room and uh, you can see there are doors. But uh, so those were like uh, warehouses and the ammunitions and the weapons were kept there. So in case of battles, uh, weapons were taken out from those spaces and using the uh, openings, um, they can attack uh, enemies. So it's really efficient. Uh, efficient. And so that uh, the biggest attraction of this um, and it's uh, like culmination of uh, Japanese sense of aesthetics and wisdom. So the castle keep um, have got um, uh, decoration inside, and uh, we have some uh, uh, space, a dead space, and that is also uh, used uh, for monitoring and also uh, military attacks. And uh, those are called hafu gable room. Yeah, so this is around the center, yeah, so that the uh, on top of the uh, uh, third layer, uh, looking the uh, castle from outside, that the that, uh, uh, triangular um, roofed space is half and uh, utilized efficiently. And this is Matsumoto Castle. And there are so many samas uh, on the wall, as you can see. And uh, those are rectangular or um, right squares. And uh, at the end, uh, you can see Ishi Otoshi. So uh, looking up, um, th so this uh, picture is uh, taken looking up to the castle. And uh, so uh, from this uh, Ishi Otoshi, enemies were attacked. And probably uh, fire guns were used, um, putting that inside the holes. <coughs> and according to um, the uh, uh, um, legend, like uh, uh, stones and uh, hot water or hot oil uh, were uh, let out from those openings. That is a legend. And in any case, uh, um, the 
the floor is sticking out um, so that uh, there's a space for attacking the enemy. And uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, workmanship included in the architecture. And this is the uh, the recovered uh, uh, castle keep of uh, Kumamoto Castle. And uh, based on the photographs, uh, they uh, reproduce the uh, the castle keep. And as you see on the uh, the floor of the ground floor, it is all sticking out uh, from the uh, wall, a uh, stone wall. So all the uh, the floors on the uh, the first floor are uh, reaching out, and so that the um, there will be uh, attack uh, possible from all lines of the uh, the floor. And so you saw the uh, the three designs of Sama, the gap, and also the uh, Ishiotoshi, the stone drop. Um, positions are very different between the uh, the castles, and they may seem uh, similar in the architectural design, but they're completely different. And this is the castle keep of Hikone Castle, and this is also a national treasure, which was uh, built uh, in early time. Um, so. Uh, in the uh, the 16, um, 17 or thereabouts, and uh, uh, this castle keep has no sama, the gap, for attacking the enemy. So that is one of the characteristics of the Hikone castle. So if you could pay attention to the the first floor, um, you see the uh, the white wall is flat, and there's no gap or the or the hole. <coughs> And uh, uh, for the uh, the gun shot, um, basically there's no hole for uh, gun shooting, meaning that uh, uh, this um, may be the castle keep during the uh, peaceful time with no necessity for uh, fighting back. But that is not the case at all. When we look at the historic background of uh, uh, Hikone Castle, um, the there was a lot of military tension in built uh, during the time this castle was built. And the reason why the, uh, there's no sama uh, on the wall, there is the uh, uh, the uh, hidden sama, hidden gap where uh, you cannot uh, see from the outside. This is the uh, the picture of the hidden sama, and uh, in fact there are a lot of sama, the gap for um, the the defense or the offense, um, but only when it's necessary. Uh, this board is uh, a crack to use uh, for fighting back. And uh, I always wonder how much force you need to crack the um, the wall or the wood. And uh, um, <clears throat> once uh, someone uh, breaks the wall, uh, this, since this is the, the national treasure, you'll be arrested by the police. And so you can never, you should never uh, touch the uh, the wall. But uh, in fact, uh, um, uh, there are some uh, the gap uh, for fighting in this uh, 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 Hikone castle. So that means that, that there was a lot of military tension associated with this castle. And also uh, in the castle keep at the top floor, there's uh, a small uh, door and uh, there's a small room behind the door. And uh, uh, one or two people with armor and sword can go in and uh, uh, in fact they use this uh, uh, dead space of the gable of Hafu and uh, uh, so they created the uh, the room for uh, not so much for survival but uh, uh, there is the uh, the hidden summer hidden gap and therefore um, it reflects the uh, spirit to fight until the very end. And in regards to the decoration, the Hikone Castle um, is not very large. Uh, it's only 21 uh, meters in comparison to Himeji Castle. It is much smaller and compact. But against the uh, the wall area, the, the gable, the hafu, um, are, there are many uh, gables, and uh, this is the characteristics of Hikone Castle. There's no um, manual for the uh, castle structure, so each castle is unique in sizes and the uh, the the make, and uh, uh, they may appear to be quite similar, uh, but then they are very different from one another in the details. And in addition, the castle keep of the uh, castle 
uh, Hyconic Castle has a wide range of variations of the gable. As you see on the right side at the bottom from uh, between the first floor and the second floor, there are the, uh, the gable uh, in triangle and the bottom line of the, um, the gable has uh, a, a paint roof. And uh, uh, so with this paint roof, um, it appears that there are more uh, roofs, although it has only three layers of roofs. And on those, also on the left side, uh, the, under the, uh, the roof of the first floor, uh, you can see the, uh, um, uh, the hafu, the gable. It appears uh, that looks like the, uh, uh, the open book upside down. And uh, it is decorative, and uh, it can make it look more uh, elegant and uh, splendid. And uh, there's the, uh, the decorative gold craft in place to make the uh, castle more splendid. And uh, there's the, uh, uh, the, 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 the crest of the uh, E family is also engraved uh, in the decoration. And when we look at the, uh, uh, the background, you can see that uh, uh, the new lord. And so there's the uh, Sekigahara battle in uh, year 1600, and so the Ii family uh, wanted to show their uh, uh, valor and the, uh, the the power. And in order to do so, they made their castle keep that would look um, quite impressive from um, <clears throat> the, the town surrounding uh, the, the castle. And next castle is the Matsue Castle, and uh, this is a castle keep that was uh, uh, that became the national treasure relatively recently. And uh, there are five um, uh, castle keep from the uh, the from uh, uh, in the past four hundred years. There are sixteen of them. This is one of the uh, the castle keeps, um, and. And it has a quite a, a militant and combative uh, design. And the picture you see, uh, there's the, the castle keep uh, in the, the, um, the other side. And there's the, uh, the small turret, uh, Tsukeyagura, attached to this uh, castle keep and the, in the entrance. And uh, uh, so there's the, uh, the gap uh, with located in this uh, small turret, which is a rare design. And when you visit Matsue Castle, uh, you can see that uh, uh, the small turret, the Tsukeyagura, has an uh, uh, entrance. And uh, you take off your shoes there and go up the stairs to go up the, uh, the castle keep. And these are uh, connected. So the there is the uh, uh, the design in place so that the uh, the guns can be shot between the uh, uh, the top of the castle keep and also there's a small turret skeyagura and uh, uh, so sama uh, is inside uh, of the other room one shouldn't uh, want to uh, shoot inside of the um, the room but this is a picture from inside of the uh, the small turret and uh, uh, and the white wall uh, separates the uh, the castle keep and the uh, the small turret. It is very strange, because it is inside of the uh, the castle keep, and uh, uh, so there should be um, should only be uh, uh, the friends, meaning there are own soldiers uh, in the uh, uh, inside. Uh, but then the spirit here is that if the enemy reaches as far as the uh, uh, the uh, the, the castle keep, the idea is to fight them back from this uh, small turret using the, the sama. Uh, but then when the enemy uh, has, is, has reached as far as the, uh, the uh, castle keep, this means that uh, you are losing the battle or the war. Uh, but then uh, uh, this castle was made by the, uh, uh, the, the retainer of uh, Toyotomi Hideyoshi uh, called Horio Yoshikatsu. Yoshi and therefore, um, so this uh, is the uh, an astute uh, uh, warlord, and so he may have uh, incorporated the uh, uh, all the 
uh, architecture in place so that uh, uh, he can fight back until the very last moment. And uh, maybe uh, for Horio Jiharu, the warlord, perhaps it may be uh, something to take for granted to fight until the very last moment. And uh, uh, so this uh, uh, can be interpreted as the strong resolve in uh, uh, fighting till the end. And uh, uh, so uh, in terms of the structure, um, in the Matsuo Castle, Matsue Castle, in fact, it may appear to be uh, five layers, but it actually four layers. And uh, I explained about the, uh, uh, the how the layers look, uh, the, the number of uh, uh, the, the roofs is counted as the uh, four, then there's a four layer. In the Himeji Castle, it is the, the five layers and the sixth floor and the one basement floor. And uh, so that was the case of the uh, Himeji Castle. And in the case of Matsue Castle, it is a four layers, but then it looks as if it has five layers. And uh, uh, so if you count all the... Uh, the, the roofs, it is one, two. And then uh, there's the uh, one uh, gable, the big uh, uh, roof. And then there's the, the fifth. And you may it may appear this is a, a five layer castle keep, but in fact, when you look at it from the side, it is uh, four layers. And uh, so, so there's the, the first and second layer, and uh, there's the uh, big um, triangular uh, gable. And on top of that, there are two layer buildings. So that why the reason behind those four layers is that uh, uh, so the, the underneath the, the top structure, the roof right underneath, in this enlargement. So at the top floor, there's uh, uh, the balcony attached to it. And uh, this is where you can climb to, to enjoy the view. And right underneath, on the right side, only on the right side, there's the, uh, the roof. And uh, this is uh, uh, the decorative roof, not for the, uh, uh, the uh, first and the second layer. So it it's not counted as roof. This is only for decorate, decorative purpose. So it is not counted. So in terms of the building, it is a four layer building or four floor building. And uh, from the left side, it's all, it looks perfectly the four layer, but it, on the right, from the right side, it looks, uh, it, it has five <coughs> layers. And uh, so I have a um, impression that uh, uh, the, the warlord wanted to make it look like it has the five layers. And another possible reason is that uh, from the time of, uh, uh, so uh, this castle was built in the transitional period from uh, Toyotomi uh, family reign to Tokugawa family reign by uh, Horio Yoshiharu, who used to uh, be the retainer for Toyotomi. So it is soon after the uh, the change of the uh, uh, the government. So uh, Horio perhaps wanted to avoid uh, to offend the uh, Tokugawa, the new administration. Um, but at the same time, he wanted to make his castle look um, impressive and yet not combative to uh, raise an alarm to the new government. And that is why perhaps that uh, he built the, um, the, the castle keep that is not excessively um, impressive. And so one by one, when we look at the, uh, the castle keep and the whole castle structure, as I said at the beginning, uh, there is the uh, reflection of the, the social uh, position and also the uh, uh, the political backdrop of the time, and of course the technology, the uh, the sense, um, aesthetic sense, and also the uh, the financial power are also reflected uh, in the make of the castle. And it is quite humane um, to want to make the castle 
look quite uh, impressive. And if I were to build a castle, I would want my castle to look uh, um, impressive. And I'm sure you can appreciate that uh, feeling and uh, uh, that uh, uh, feeling. I think it's the same in any ages. And so I have a feeling that uh, um, uh, people 400 years ago uh, wanted to make his, uh, his uh, castle look impressive. So I have the, uh, the sense of affinity to such a um, desire. So let's take a look. This is Matsumoto Castle, Castle Keep. Yeah, Matsumoto Castle. In one castle keep, uh, we can enjoy different times so that uh, we can see changes of the times. We can feel the dramas behind those uh, buildings. So that's one recommendation, one recommended castle um, by me. And so that the castles, 99%, um, they are reformed and they do not stay intact over time. So that the uh, uh, commensurate to time, um, the uh, ownership might change, and then the castle changes. And especially those castles built in the uh, warring period, they had to be refurbished. Otherwise, they could be uh, uh, the, the, like uh, um, the taken by the enemies. And so that the, the castle uh, used to be the uh, former owners, so that the, um, they uh, um going to reinforce the uh, weaknesses and also there are technological changes so that uh, there are changes and that's one uh, uh, big notable point and uh, Matsumoto castle um, is a group of castle uh, keeps um, five national treasure castle keeps makes the group and so late um, left hand side uh, so Inui direction a small uh, castle keep and uh, at the center we have the main castle keep and uh, we have corridor like um, the, the uh, um, turrets and also we have um, a kind of veranda um, that is called moon worshipping yagura uh, the uh, turret and we have in between them uh, tatsumi annexed uh, turret and those five buildings are connected together and all of them are designated to be national treasures. So that is a group of Matsumoto Castle Keeps. And if you visit there without getting outside, you can see inside of all those five castle keeps and the Inui, a small um, castle keep uh, can uh, be seen inside, but it's co still connected to other buildings because of uh, seismic risk. Um, and so that the warning period and in Edo period, those buildings were uh, built, yet connected, so that uh, um, this is a mixture of two different times. On the right-hand side, as introduced, they are on the uh, right hand side, uh, Inui, and uh, uh, so the uh, uh, corridor and the main wing, um, those are wing period, and uh, Tatsumi, um, so um, the uh, toilet um, that is made in Edo period, and uh, another one as well. So there are samas, uh, many of them, and also the uh, decoration is old fashioned, as for those ones in a uh, warring period, so that uh, the uh, practicality uh, was uh, a prevailing factor. And uh, those are the ones built in the Edo period. On the right hand side, you can see a moon worshipping toilet, and uh, you can see red colored veranda like structure. And the name is Tsukimi Yagura, that is moon wash uh, appreciating toilet. And so in order to see the moon, uh, it's used for uh, recreational purposes. Looking at the uh, background. So um, the uh, uh, at that time, the third shogun 
um, Tokugawa Iemitsu's uh, time was a time when this was built, so that uh, after war in period, Japan was enjoying a peaceful time, so that the um, militant facility was not necessary at that time. The reason why it was built was uh, Tokugawa Iemitsu, the third shogun, came to Zenkoji Temple. And then um, on the way home, um, he planned to visit Matsumoto Castle so that uh, in order to welcome uh, Tokugawa Iemitsu, that building was built. And so that was welcoming facility for the shogun and so that the militant um, nature is not there. So that uh, it's a kind of welcoming and hospitality facility. If uh, the building is militant, then uh, it means hostility to the shogun. It might be considered that way, so that uh, the uh, owner of the castle uh, can be uh, demoted and expelled. So that uh, it's a mixture of two different times. As for the uh, characteristic, um, you can see wide open window. Uh, you do not see those uh, wide open windows um, in warring times. And of course, you can see outside well from open windows, but uh, you can be easily attacked by the enemies. So uh, so this uh, uh, toilet is a uh, moon appreciating toilet. So that's why um, those are um, like a, a placed and also with red painted uh, balcony. And uh, so this is from inside, and uh, uh, it's uh, so bright inside. There is no summer, uh, and there is no Ishiotoshi, the uh, um, attacking slab. So this is the first floor of the main building, and uh, it's uh, kept illuminated in order to take the photo, but it's dark, actually, and uh, the uh, uh, windows are not open. And so minimum level of uh, luminosity, uh, luminance is planned and the summer and also lattice windows are the uh, only openings planned. So on the uh, right hand side, you can see a summer, the uh, narrow opening uh, for attacking the enemies. And so this corridor is called a uh, Mushabashiri uh, corridor for the uh, sunrise to run. So that uh, uh, there are corridors uh, for uh, battling purposes. So that uh, you can see changes in a time series. And this is Maroka Castle. And this, is, this still exists. And so that uh, this is showing the original characteristics. Please take a look at the uh, roof and the uh, Maroka Castle roof is made of stone. The uh, tiles are made of stones. Basically, um, the uh, clay um, tiles are used for roofing, usually, for a castle, but uh, uh, this castle has got uh, stone tiles uh, because those uh, clay tiles can be cracked uh, in cold areas uh, because of coldness, because it's frozen. And uh, uh, the Sakai city in Fukui uh, prefecture, that region is known for heavy snowfall, so that uh, they uh, decided to uh, use uh, stone tiles. And uh, in Fukui city, even now, this uh, shakudani stone uh, that is locally mined is used for the uh, um, entrance of the shrine or uh, wall as wall material for um, general people's um, residences. So, and uh, it's kind of uh, expensive. And Echizen Aoishi, Echizen Blue uh, is another name so that uh, if you'd like to get one for souvenir, it's pretty um, expensive because it's branded. And uh, so uh, closer to us, you can see um, blue, green color and so that uh, when it's wet, uh, the color becomes much more uh, distinctive. So Maruka City, uh, Maruka Castle, um, looks more uh, beautiful and uh, melancholic because of the color. 
so it looks really beautiful. Like this. At the top of the uh, uh, Onigawara, uh, it is showing a, a goblin face, and that's made of stone also. And so you probably wouldn't have paid any attention, uh, including Japanese nationals, uh, to those small details. And uh, this is Aizu Wakamatsu Castle, um, Castle Keep, and it's not um, uh, like an original building, but it's a replica. And so that the reddish uh, tiles are used in order to survive cold weathers. It looks beautiful, uh, but uh, it's not for aesthetic purposes. No red paint is used. Uh, it had to be red. The uh, tiles are red. And Aizu Wakamatsu uh, is located in Fukushima Prefecture. When the uh, uh, tiles are heated, then uh, uh, for in order to reinforce the uh, material, um, iron is used so that the, the color turns reddish. That is the reason why. In order to make it strong, in order to uh, uh, weather heavy snow. And in Edo period, the color was even uh, uh, redder, um, more orangish. So um, this color is a uh, um, replica uh, of the uh, Edo period, uh, right? So um, when this uh, building was be rebuilt. And uh, then I would like to talk about the traditional um, Japanese techniques and materials. The castle um, keep, um, when it comes to that, maybe you imagine white wall, and uh, it's called plaster. And it's attractive. It's a traditional Japanese material. And the plaster, so um, that is uh, made by mixing slaked lime and uh, calcium hydroxide with sisa and uh, kneading it uh, with seaweed glue. And uh, that is still in use in Japan. And so that the uh, sisa um, is a kind of fiber uh, by made by chopping um, hemp and so on. And uh, they, uh, that is quite strong and uh, uh, that prevents uh, cracking and uh, uh, glue is reinforced by having the fiber. And uh, so that uh, the uh, um, glue is used, and also the uh, finished material is quite strong. And that's the reason why it's used. And those are in small letters. Those are the characteristics. So that the uh, shells are baked and uh, um, turned into ash, and uh, uh, also limestone are used. In other words, uh, they are made of natural ingredients. And, uh, uh, when it's uh, finished, uh, it is different from uh, uh, the uh, the chemical paint. And when it's dried, uh, it um, gives the, the glittering uh, appearance and uh, uh, it shines in the, the sunlight. So it is very different from a synthetic paint and uh, it has a, a beauty of the natural um, paint. And also Himeji Castle, uh, Castle Keep was repainted recently using the traditional um, material um, to have the, uh, the same um, for formulation. Um, as much as possible as in the time of Edo period. And uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, natural um, plaster used. There are two, there are two uh, main uh, plasters uh, in the Japanese traditional plaster methods, a Honsh plaster and a Tosa plaster. Hon plaster is uh, whiter and is uh, thinner, and the finish is 1.5 to 3 millimeters. And the, the base is quite thick, but then the fi final finish is quite thin. And uh, it takes a long time to um, finalize the, uh, the 
the plaster. And in the case of uh, Himeji Castle, it took as many as three years um, between the uh, the fermentation of the uh, the straw and then uh, uh, kneading and the painting. So uh, it uh, involves uh, quite a lot of steps. In the case of Tosa plaster, uh, the ingredients are a little bit different, and it's a little bit yellowish, and it's much thicker. And uh, with the ultraviolet ray, um, Tosa plaster also uh, becomes paler, but it has a heavier impression. And uh, in Kochi Castle, uh, since the Edo period, uh, the castle keep of uh, Kochi Castle as the uh, Tosa plaster. And this is a structure of a Himeji Castle plaster. So the, the final, uh, the finish is only 1.5 to 3 millimeters, but there are six layers. And therefore, the, the wall itself is quite uh, thick, and uh, uh, there's uh, about three, uh, uh, so the, the total thickness is about 30. Uh, three centimeters. So it has a lot of uh, uh, steps and uh, more than 100 uh, uh, troughs have been uh, types of uh, uh, used. And uh, uh, so uh, it is a very complicated process. And for the, uh, um, the, the joint as well to enhance the, uh, uh, the durability, fire resistance, and also uh, corrosion resistance. Next, uh, this is the castle keep of the Matsumoto castle, and this dark color is basically um, uh, in the uh, um, the there's the um, the essence of the um, the the limestone uh, mixed with the uh, um, the uh, the persimmon, and uh, uh, they use the uh, the young uh, the persimmon. Um, uh, essence and uh, this is uh, uh, fermented and uh, matured before um, pasting. And uh, in the case of Matsumoto Castle, they use a black lacquer, and uh, lacquer is another uh, traditional uh, material from Japan. But uh, it maybe have been used in an older time in Japan. But in Japan, uh, from the seventh century uh, to eleventh century, it became very popular. And uh, it is quite durable, and also it is uh, strong against the, the acid, base, salt, alcohol, and uh, uh, therefore um, it is has a high performance in terms of a water resistance, heat resistance, and a corrosion resistance. And uh, it's been used since the time of Jomon uh, earthenware. And uh, Matsumoto Castle is repainted every year. In fact, uh, uh, unlike the plaster, so plaster uh, is painted uh, in six layers. But in case of a lacquer, um, what you need to do <coughs> is to just wash the uh, <coughs> the surface, and then uh, uh, and as long as the uh, the base coat uh, is not uh, deteriorated, then all you need to do is to put the lacquer on top. So the maintenance is relatively easier. Uh, it only would it would only take a few weeks to repaint with the uh, um, the lacquer, and so it has the the very simple process. But as you see, uh, this is uh, repainted every year uh, between September and uh, November, so you can see how it is done. It is uh, quite simple, and uh, uh, it doesn't take much uh, uh, scaffolding, <coughs> and uh, uh, it is like a ninja. Uh, the uh, the craftsman uh, will be uh, repainting, and uh, uh, in fact, the uh, the undercoat is uh, uh, enabling the simple process, and uh, it is called the uh, uh, shibusumi, and uh, uh, it is a mixture of the uh, the charcoal, the, um, the the pine charcoal, and also the uh, the uh, the persimmon uh, essence. And uh, uh, so this uh, charcoal is also another traditional ingredient. It uh, works to uh, prevent the uh, rotting or corrosion. And uh, with this, uh, uh, the dark um, uh, paint, then uh, uh, the, the wood will stay healthy for a very long time. And it protects the uh, material um, for quite a long time. And so the, the lacquer uh, in itself uh, 
has a, a quite a high performance in protecting the base material. So uh, you don't need to remove the adalaka in order to repaint it. And however, the, the weakest point of the, uh, the, the lacquer is the ultraviolet rate. So during the summertime, uh, the top layer lacquer is uh, um, deteriorated. So that is why in Matsumoto Castle, after the summer, during the fall, uh, from uh, uh, September to November, they repaint with the lacquer. So when you go visit, um, I recommend you to go in November because uh, between September and November uh, there will be uh, some uh, uh, lacquer and the red lacquer needs to be covered like this. And in order to make it dry, uh, so, um, so lacquer comprises lacquer oil for the most part and uh, uh, the temperature has to be 20 to 25 degrees Celsius and the humidity 60 to 65 percent have to be fulfilled to dry the lacquer. So that is why the uh, autumn period is the most appropriate. And uh, during that time, the uh, the surface will be covered with the, uh, as you see in the picture. So I would like to take a look sometime. So this, uh, um, the, the lacquer oil has the uh, uh, chemical reaction and uh, driving the, the change or the quality of the lacquer to make it uh, uh, look black. And uh, it, ha it, it is uh, uh, not just another black, it has uh, depths to it. And I would like you to take a look at how it um, shines and how beautiful it is sometime in the future. So in closing, I would like to uh, explain to you about the structural uh, uniqueness of uh, uh, Matsue Castle. And uh, recently, Matsue Castle has become a national treasure, and uh, uh, the one of the triggers for it to become the national treasure is the fact that it has a very unique structure. In the case of uh, Himeji Castle, that you see on the left side, it has a central pillar. There's a long, very long pillar, uh, two pillars, um, from the the ground floor to the the sixth floor, and so that's the characteristics of the uh, Shimeji Castle. This is a traditional architectural uh, um, method, and I wonder uh, if you can find it in Europe, for instance. I'm not so knowledgeable about European uh, uh, castles, but this is quite unique in any case. However, uh, the castle keep of the Matsue Castle doesn't have the long central pillars, most probably they could not uh, uh, afford or they could not uh, find the, uh, uh, the, the, the tree that's uh, uh, long enough for central pillars. So that is why they have a, a shift to connect the, the different floors by uh, two, two floors each. And uh, they shift the location of the, uh, uh, the pillars so that the, uh, uh, the weight of the uh, the castle structure uh, will be dispersed. Uh, the lower you go down the uh, the floors, and uh, uh, so around 1610, when the castle was made, this was rather unique. And uh, in the development of the castle uh, architecture, this uh, symbolizes the uh, the turning point. And so the rarity of this uh, uh, architectural approach was. Uh, um, uh, point to be selected uh, to, as the national treasure. And it, it may be difficult to learn such structure from the outside. Uh, but uh, there are so many uh, differences and originality in the um, Japanese castles. So I hope that uh, um, you will bear this in mind. So when you have a chance to visit Japanese castles, it may be uh, more interesting to you. Now, there are so many more things that I would like to share with you, but time is up. So uh, even uh, with one uh, castle keep, there's a lot of craftsmanship and also the spirit and also um, the purposes incorporated, uh, bringing about the uh, original features of each and every castle keep. And uh, uh, I would like you to uh, feel for yourselves the uh, attractiveness and the beauty 
and the, um, the architectural um, effectiveness of the castle. I would like you to um, visit the castle, so um, feel all of these for yourself. So with this, I would like to conclude my lecture. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for uh, viewing this uh, our seminar. And uh, please fill in a questionnaire and the URL of the uh, the lecture is in uh, this uh, slide and uh, the next uh, the seminar will be on January 15th online and uh, 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 it is about calligraphy please look at uh, uh, just a website for details and those who are joining us in the Q&A session please uh, uh, join us uh, to the uh, the separate Zoom. Um, thank you.